Well, hello there. How are you today? Matthew McDonald here, creator of Custom Video Player. And today I have a super quick tutorial, a little bonus training session where we have a look at a little trick that you can do to have multiple different Facebook comment boxes on the same page. So at the moment, obviously, you can just slap those comment boxes on the same page. But the problem is when people comment on the comment box, um, they're all going to be identical. So over the past days, we've been learning about how to get free traffic to our website by placing a comment box directly under a video. Well, what if you've got multiple different videos on the same page? If you were to place multiple different comment boxes on the same page, all the comments would be the same, wouldn't they? So it would look, look kind of silly. Well, there is a way and there's a little trick and it's quite a simple little trick that we can do in order to customize each comment box directly for that video. So if you've got video A, video B, video C, and we're putting one, two, three comment boxes under each video, we wanna anchor that comment box to that video, not just the page. And the same goes for the other two comment boxes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now I'm gonna be using the Custom Video Player Facebook Plus add-on in this training because it makes it extremely easy to do, uh, but you can also do this manually if you like, um, just by using the uh, Facebook um, comments code um, that you would have got with the templates on day one. Um, you can use that code and you can edit the code a little bit. It's possible to do it, but we're gonna be using the Facebook plugin in this lesson. I'm at YouTube and I've found a fantastic video here by Eben Pagan, who's a total legend, love his stuff. And this video is a four part series. So there's actually four different YouTube videos on this particular topic and he's talking about a wealth mindset. It's a brilliant topic and he's very good at talking about it. He's very qualified also. So what I wanna do, I wanna take not just one video, but I wanna take all four videos and place them on my blog with individual comment boxes under each video. And that way when people are on my blog, they can comment under each video and generate more traffic back to that web page. So let's have a look at how we do that. Now I've just set up a blog page here and this is my test blog. And this is in WordPress. So I've just called it here Secrets to a Wealth Mindset and watch video now. So this is just a WordPress blog and I've created a post here. It's totally empty because I haven't added the videos yet. And if I go into the admin area, we can see here I've just named it here. Just click OK there. Secrets to Wealth Mindset, watch video now. And then I've just got blank. I've got nothing in here yet. So let's go and grab our first video embed code using the custom video player with the Facebook comments. So I'm just going to first grab the link to this video page here and head over to my custom video player. I'm going to paste in my link there, which is the link to the video. Scrolling down here, now I'm going to skip the size because I actually know exactly what size I want. For the theme, I'm going to pick the Facebook clone, which is really cool. I'm just going to leave the controls as they are. Choose click to pause. And I'm going to go into the advanced settings and I know exactly how wide I want this video player to be because if you have a look at my blog here, it's a bit of an unusual width. I've actually tried a few different widths and I couldn't really find the perfect size video player, but I know the width is about 620 pixels. And if you don't know the width, you can just try different sizes until you know what it is. And by knowing the width, I can create a, exactly the right size custom video player and let the custom video player work out the height for me. 
So back here, we've got in the advanced settings, we've got custom video width. I'm gonna put there 620. And these other settings you can play around. I won't do it now because this is just a quick training session and I wanna keep our fo focus on setting up individual comment boxes for individual videos on the same page. Now this is where it gets interesting. For the Facebook Options Plus, and you don't actually need the Plus version, you can have the basic version, um, which you can actually get for $27. If we have a look at the page link up here, I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. Because we're going to have multiple different videos on the same page, I don't want to be using the same Facebook page link for all the videos, otherwise all the comments are going to be the same. Which means if somebody places a comment on video 1, that same comment would be going to all the different videos on the same page. So we can do a little trick here and at the end of the page link we can put a question mark and we can just call it video 1. That's all we have to do. We can put this one here on 30. Include a few things there. I'll leave that one off in case you've got the basic version and generate video code. Okay, there's our video code. Let's just copy that. And I'm in the HTML view. I'm going to paste it in there and I'm just going to click on the update. Let's have a quick look at that. Refreshing the page. And here we can see we've got our video loading. It's a good size. Um, with the color here, I would probably think maybe a black one would look better. So let's switch that over. I'm just going to go here to themes and choose a simple black. That looks pretty cool. We'll just copy that. Come back over here. Update. Let's go and refresh the page. And yep, I think that looks really cool. All right, so let's go and add video to, and then we're going to be testing this out. So here we go. If you see part one of four up the top or, or part one of five, often you can find the other ones down the side. So here we've got part two of four. Let's click that. I'll just pause it and I'm just going to grab the link here. We'll copy that over, go over to our custom video player. We can leave all the settings the same and just replace the link here. And then go over to our Facebook's option plus and change video 1 to video 2. Generate video code. Okay, I'm going to copy that. We'll go in here and make sure you're in the HTML view. Just add a bit of space to keep things tidy here. Update. And we'll come back over and refresh the page. If I scroll down, I've got video 2 there as well. And when we test this, we want to make sure that the comments are not going to be the same when we start making comments. It doesn't matter that people link back to this page from the different comments on, on the Facebook post. That's totally fine. We want traffic to this page, but we want to make sure that the comments are under the correct video, which is what we're learning to do here. So let's go number three. Pause the video, copy the link, scrolling up here, replacing our video link, and we're going to change video 2 to video 3. Generate video code. 
copy that. We'll go and paste it in here. Probably one space is enough. Update post. Okay, let's go over to our post and refresh the page. Now we've got video one, video two, video three, and they've all got their individual comments under the video. Let's add one more and then we'll try that try it out. So here we go. There's number four. Pausing that. I'm gonna copy that over. Video custom video player, paste in our new video link, leave all the settings as they are, and we'll just change video three to video four. Generate video code. And there you go. Now, if you do have the Facebook Options Plus, you can also create these cool black looking comment boxes, which is the stealth black. I'll just show you what that looks like while we're here. So you can see that looks pretty cool. It looks even cooler on the page. So you can have black comments. Uh, we'll keep it consistent now. So I'm just gonna stick with the Facebook colors. I think that looks really tidy anyway. We'll copy that, come over here, scrolling down, paste that in. And if you think you don't need those gaps, you can always of course remove them play with it put headers in between update let's refresh the page there's our video one video two video three and video four now i've done this in real time so in in about 10 minutes or so We've just created an awesome page with some valuable content that goes for a very long time. So this is a full course. This is a four videos um, all going from one on to the next and people get hooked on it. They get excited about what he's talking about. And when they leave comments, you get traffic to your site. I'm just gonna leave a comment here. I'm just somebody watching the video love the video i don't even care what website i'm on but i love the video i'm just going to say you know awesome stuff Evan, thanks okay post comment and there we go now if i was to click that link and have a look at my wall post there'd be a link back to this website and we can see it there straight away now, with the plus addition of the Facebook add-on, you can actually customize this ad, and you can do it yourself as well, but that's a little bit more advanced lesson how to do that. But we've just placed a backlink on somebody's Facebook wall, linking back to our stuff, and not only linking back to our stuff, but actually recommending, uh, recommending our website because they like the video. So if you can see what's going on here, you find a great video. And even though your website might not be that great, if the video is good and people like the video, they're going to want to comment on it and generate more traffic to your website. Let's go back over there. Now, they're not always going to like the same video, so they might want to post a comment on the second video. And we want to make sure that we don't have the same comments under all videos. So I'm just going to type in. Just put here, this is what did it for me. Comment. Okay. And now we can see the comments are different. Even though we're on the same page, we've managed to have different comments on the same page. Now, sometimes when you set up multiple different videos on the same site, you might get an alert from Facebook when you place your first comment. I didn't get it this time, but I have seen it uh, where it says your post hasn't been posted on the Facebook wall yet. Um, that's just Facebook being cautious 
and you can go ahead and click post and that will sort itself out. It's not going to be prompting that from every person. So be the first to comment on your own videos and that way you can get the ball rolling and you can also make sure it's all working properly. And then we could go down here and try the other videos and now we've been able to create custom comment boxes on multiple videos on the same web page. There we go, bonus training session number five. And, and it's not about becoming a Facebook expert or a Facebook guru. It's about using methods that work today. So down the line, these methods, you know, these methods are not always going to work. I've been around long enough. I might not have been around that long, but long enough to know that trends change, markets change, opportunities change. And when there's an opportunity, you want to get a hold of it with both hands and squeeze it, you know, squeeze everything out of that opportunity because we don't always know how long they're going to be around. Now, for those of you that already have the Facebook plugin uh, for, for this, it's very easy for you to implement. Go and try it out. Go and set up two videos on one page and have a look at those individual comments for each video. And just keep in mind, if the video is good, if the video is interesting or if the video is controversial, you're going to start getting comments. And every time you get comments, that comment is going to generate traffic back to your site. So we're getting that ball rolling. If you don't have the Facebook add-on for the custom video player, you can still grab it at that special price. And I'll put the information on this page for you. Now, those of you that are video traffic generator customers, um, this is not your bonus. This is custom video player bonus training session number five. Video traffic generators, we're going to look at list building actually and how to how to use this tool to build your list. But this is about Facebook comments under each video. You can have multiple videos on the same page using this method. And if you do have the the custom video player Facebook add-on, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. You can do it without it, but it's a little bit more extensive lesson and we would have to go into code view and, and it will take a little while for me to show you how to do that. But it is possible and we may do some training down the line how to do that. So that's it for today. I hope you're enjoying the updates with the custom video player. We've got some amazing things to look forward to in the very near future and more training how to utilize video and make a profit, generate traffic, but also make a profit using this powerful communication tool we have today called video. Okay, so that's it for today. Check out the links on this page and I'll see you in the next video.